Okay, so today we're going to be covering Trihackney's Corridor. Um, I've already started the machine, and let's go ahead and read this first task. So for this one, we're going to be looking for potential IDOR vulnerabilities and then navigating a website. So we have to discover what port this website is on and then discover these vulnerabilities. Now, an IDOR is a insecure direct object reference. Um, generally with applications, uh, sometimes um, you need to know a direct object reference in order to access certain resources. Uh, some applications use numerical values, some use unique identifiers, etc. But in the event that there is insufficient uh, server-side validation, um, you're able to modify these requests and access resources that generally you're not supposed to. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's uh, start up with an nmap scan. First, we'll create a directory called corridor, cd into it, and then do our basic uh, enumeration. Call it an app initial, and then 10, 10, 149. And let this run. Okay, sweet. So port 80 running HTTPD. Uh, let's just go ahead and browse to this website. And nothing except when you hover over them, you get these unique identifiers. Um, let's go ahead and look at the source of the page. And we can see here, we have some sort of hash. Uh, in order to just quickly identify this, uh, let's just pull up our terminal again and use hash identifier and splat this in there. And we can see we have potential MD5, uh, which can get interesting. So let's attempt to crack one of these hashes uh, using crack station. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw one of them in there. And then here we can see that the value is six and it is an MD5 hash. Uh, when we go ahead and click one of these, we can see that the URL contains an MD5 hash. Throw it in there and then it's the hash value of seven. So we have to find the MD5 value of a certain number in order to access the flag. Okay, and since I'm lazy, we can go ahead and write out a quick little script in order to generate the MD5 sum of the numerical values. So uh, let's do echo and then remove new lines uh, one and then pipe that into MD5 sum. Okay, and then just to re-verify that this is actually the value of one, let's go ahead um, and throw this in here and we get one. So going back to this, uh, we don't need this tack at the end. Uh, so we can go ahead and use cut uh, with a space for the delimiter. And we'll do the first field. So now we are going to do this in a bash loop. So we'll do for i in... Uh, Let's do negative one to 10, just to start out with. Uh, do echo tech n1 md5 sum uh, cut tech d tech f1 done. Let me uh, fix that. Did we get a 49 Bravo? 49 Bravo. 
Dope. Okay, and then we're gonna generate a word list with this by just teeing it out into a uh, file. Okay. And then now we're gonna take our word list and perform a uh, kind of directory brute force in order to see if we can get a correct response from the, the server. In order for us to do that, we're gonna use the tool wfuzz. Um, so for us to do that, we're gonna specify the word list with tag w and then the domain we're gonna be attempting um, to fuzz. And we can see right away one is 404 and the oddball is this one um, where the rest have the same kind of uh, characters in the response. So in order for us to hide those responses, just to clean it up, we can specify tack HH for characters and then the numerical value. Tack, tack, H, H, six, three, two. And we can go ahead and attempt this one. Um, we can navigate to the web page and see here's our flag value. And for those curious, the hash value was zero. So we can go ahead and submit that flag in the correct format. And boom, congratulations. So that route wasn't too bad. Um, I hope you guys learned something. If you guys liked it, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share it with a friend, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.